Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to the latest episode of uh, the Van Other Collective. A like-minded group of vanners, caravanners, motorhomers. Mo motorhomers, everyone else. There's, there's, <laughs> there's, I think there's several thousand of us now in the Van Other Collective. I'll try and get the logos on the screen somewhere or other. Uh, what we do is we have a, a, a week, a monthly, and he said weekly, a monthly topic where we like uh, talk about something, <laughs> and everybody shares a video at the same time. So, this month's topic is how to save money, money. <laughs> when you are vanning, caravanning, etc. So we've got some ideas. Stick with us. So to save money, I think probably the best tip is not to buy a new caravan every year. Yeah, oops. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the most essential thing is to really consider how you're going to use your vehicle that you choose. So whether you choose a camper van, a motorhome or a caravan, it's really important that you decide first if you're going to be towing it or if you're going to keep it on site and um, keep it at a site for a while. Um, we decided on choosing a caravan because we really like hitching up and leaving the vehicle and then using our car to explore the local area um, which is you know the best for us but you know that everyone's different um, also layout is really key so you need to be thinking about you know do you want a fixed bed initially we said we didn't need a fixed bed because we thought it'd be fun to uh, make up the bed every night but it, it really isn't fun <laughs> so for us we've decided you know to stick with a fixed bed and we also really like having a separate shower but it's up to you to really consider your needs maybe even if you can hire a vehicle just so you can try it out to see what you really need and that way you don't spend money you on something spend. <laughs> money on something that you live to regret <laughs> <laughs> not that we regret it's been a brilliant year in that door our old 304 but we've now upgraded as you can see to our Bailey Discovery D44 and we love it And I think it's really important that when you do choose what sort of van you've got, you don't have to always go for the most expensive thing out there. There's lots of really good second-hand vans out there. You can even hire stuff when you decide. But you, but it's, I think it's worth getting something that's got a decent quality. You don't want to buy a banger. Is banger a correct phrase for whatever you're buying? But you, you want to buy something that's decent quality. But there's lots of good budget ranges out there, starter ranges. They're called starter vans. I mean, Discovery is supposed to be technically a starter van, but you're getting some good stuff in there. And you're getting the same layout as some of the most expensive vans. You're just not getting the same sort of finish and extras in there that you do with some of the vans. But there's, there's lots of good options out there. You don't have to go spending a fortune out when you're starting. Okay, so our next tip is to join one of the clubs um, to um, make sure you get a discount on your stay and there's also like discounts included. So the other thing to do is to book the CL or CS sites because often they can be a bit cheaper than the normal sites. They might have a few less facilities but not always and sometimes they're nice and quiet so there's worth having a look at. As well as that you can always look at some of the private sites. We found that there are some really good private sites you can book online as well um, which have many of the same facilities as the club sites and are just a little bit different. Another good thing to do would be to join the National Trust or English Heritage. Although you have to pay a bit when you first join, you do get lots of uh, like free parking attractions and also lots of free entry to places to visit. A really good idea. We, I think we swear by ours. So make sure to use the on-site um, electricity instead of your own gas um, to save money because you normally don't get paid for it and we use our tapenaki and microwave to save money. So as well as bringing a few items with you, the staples like bread, sugar, milk, etc. from when you get on site, also make sure that you've brought enough stuff that you can make your own picnics because eating out can be really expensive. And we always make sure that we do this and bring some little sandwich containers with you as well. Save money as well. Don't feel like you have to buy specific camping items from a camping shop. Lots of shops on the high street nowadays, including discounted shops, have some great offers available for items that you could use in your caravan, so shop around. Another good thing to do is that when you are traveling, it's best only to take what you need. I know it's very tempting to load everything in there, but the less weight you are towing about, the less fuel you're using, 
more economy, all makes sense. So just take what you need. There's a duck down here as well, <laughs> taking what it needs. <laughs> so I think most importantly, we all have to try and cut cores and try and save money on holiday. But I think the most important thing is that you are actually on holiday, aren't you? Yeah, live a bit. Live a bit, yeah. It's important to try and save money while you can, but at the same time you've got to try and enjoy yourself, YOLO, yeah. etc. So hopefully some of those tips, I mean you probably know them all anyway, but hopefully some of those tips will help in a little way, for all pretty standard stuff. So that's one of our Van of the Collective videos, a collaboration of like-minded caravanners, motorhomers and campervanners. Um, if you'd like to check out theirs, uh, vlogs as well we'll put the links in the description below um, but if you have any suggestions about how you could save money please also do make a comment because it's always great to share ideas okay. and thank you for watching thank you very much everyone and make sure to like subscribe do all the good stuff and we'll see you guys next time bye, bye. hi guys <laughs> <laughs> guys um it's <laughs> oh, stop doing that hi guys um i don't know why i say that it it's <laughs> i think it's important as well that when you do choose your van you don't have to go for the most expensive thing out there there's lots of really good sort of uh second hand or cheap and we're getting bothered by what's so. <laughs> <laughs> Another good thing to do is to join the uh, National Trust or Trust. <laughs> I've got what I was talking about. <laughs>